Any luck with the newcomers yet? They convinced to accept our help? Good. I knew I could count on you. I've been looking into where we can mass produce the inoculation. Some of the obvious choices are messy. But if you just sit back and ask yourself, who could have manufactured a lot of specially formulated liquid in sterile packaging, it becomes obvious. Exactly. Great minds, huh? The local plant even has all the equipment to make experimental beverages. Perfect for us hacking in the inoculation. The current occupants were giving me some trouble, though. I could use your help on this one. Meet you there? It's just about time to eat. Damn, no caps. Looks like there's almost $200 in here, though. I guess it'll make good kindling. This is it. We need to get the power up and running and reformulate the machines for the inoculation. Fire everything up and try not to get killed.
chemical substitutions to make new flavors. That's how we're gonna trick it into making the inoculation. We just need to figure out how to make soda ingredients to produce human antibodies. Easy, right? Our latest market survey reports that healthy, on-the-go snacking is up 8% across all market sectors and is expected to propel demand across the next several fiscal years. Our first experiments are going to look at reviving celery-flavored sparkling beverages. It's a beverage that has its origins in the 1860s and has a built-in recognition with demographics that crave outsider status. We think we can balance artificial flavors, package design, and marketing to convince people it has healthy benefits. We're working with legal to figure out the limits of what we can claim. But right now, we're a classic digestive resume. beverage for the new generation. Okay. And or, a green tonic water from America's greatest era. Reminds me of the equipment back at the Vault Tech Ag Center. Let me know if you want me to take over. A little biochemical engineering to round out the day. I'll get to work. You watch our backs. to find the ones produced by the inoculation. Okay, I've got it! Now we need a little biofactory to produce the antibodies in the drink. Can't make Nuka-Cola without yeast. And it's simple enough that we should be able to do a splice. for manufacturing.
Pride jump start. <laughs> completely <laughs> Thank you.
I'm sorry. I, I just can't help but wonder what it was like to actually work here. I mean, can you believe this? While you're handing those out, I'll start organizing things here and get a plan in place to get more to whomever needs them. Meet me back in Sutton when you're done. John, anyway. Just don't get it. Seen my tools. Got that vaccine yet? I just spotted them. What's this? Nuka Cola. Nice looking label, I guess. What gives? Well, I guess I should be impressed if you went to all the trouble of making it easy to take. Still don't know what to think of you, Vault Dweller. But, well, saving us from your plague is a good start. You watch out for you and yours out there.
Apolect. You taking your sweet time with that inoculation? This is the inoculation you promised? Bottles of Nuka? You best start talking, 7 6. Clearly. And you can spare me the details. Wouldn't want you to hurt that brain of yours trying to use all the fancy words. I'll make sure it gets distributed. Looks like you're off the hook, 7 6. See you around. Is it daytime out there? You can lose track of time down here. Is it done? Do they have the inoculation? Ha! <sighs> what a relief, huh? We'll get shipments up and running in case that first batch wasn't enough. Look, I know you're doing more than your fair share of the work. Don't think I didn't notice. Thank you. Now that one crisis is over, it's time we start working on that mystery in the mountains. Have you heard the latest? A few other people from 76 made the trek into the mountains to find this treasure we keep hearing about. It's a vault. Vault 79. Sealed tight, with no obvious way in. The rumor mill about what's inside is running wild. We don't have a way in, but I think I have a plan to at least find out what's inside. Every student who graduates Vault Tech University has a story about the restricted wing, where all the higher-ups would have their meetings. And not just stuffy professors and their Mr. Handy assistants. I mean sit-downs with government officials, the military. Over 25 years in the making for me, but it's time to finally see what it's hiding. Meet you there? <laughs> 